Welcome to our hub identification class. Today we are going to discuss the uh, the corn silk. The corn silk is uh, found from the corns, and uh, it is its nature of working in the body is being uh, it create, it creates a diuresis or diuretic effect that is uh, increasing the urine flow through the urinary tract system. And corn silk is something that we have in most areas. Uh, I prefer, you know, the corn silk uh, differs. We have different kinds of, of the plants of the, of the corn. We have the yellow corn, the red corn, the white corn. Uh, the the more nearly we come to the original corn, we will have a very strong corn silk to use. We are living in an environment that a lot of corn has been genetically engineered. And that is what most of the people eat and drink. Uh, and uh, we are really in a danger. God is calling us to search for the seeds of these indigenous plants, indigenous maize, and plant them back. Now, the corn silk, that is the, the hairy part of the corn, is very useful medicinally for treating many diseases. And uh, it is a powerful cleanser of bladder and kidney tissues. If someone had kidney, pro kidney failure or uh, he has a UTI, the best have to take is, is, uh, is corn silk. You make a tea of it, just get a pound of it and then... Simmer it in water for about 30 minutes. For a pound, that is a kilo of the, of the hair, you put it in four liters of water and then boil it until it reduces to a liter of water. And then take that in. It will be very powerful to help with any urinary tract infection, to help with a failing kidney. It helps clean toxins and mucus from the urinary tract it helps lower blood sugar, so it means good for diabetes. If you have a diabetic patient, uh, for diabetic patient, there are, uh, there are about three areas you need to look at. You need to build the blood, you need to strengthen the liver, detoxify the liver, and then enable the kidney to filtrate well. So you will be looking at those principles on those areas in enabling, helping someone with blood pressure. And the blood vessels also have to be looked at because uh, this is a pancreas problem, and a pancreas pro problem is automatically a liver problem. They go together. And then we have the blood vessels that needs to discharge out the, the toxins and the cholesterol within it. And uh, the kidney also to filter out uh, to filter out the and filter out and filter well the components of the blood that comes onto it. Um, so you need to look at blood pressure in that line, not only in one phase, looking at the sugar only. No, we are looking at almost the whole body and also the brain, the pituitary gland is looked at, endocrine system. That's why when we are actually bringing, uh, having a herbal formula, these are things that we look at. We look at this disease. Uh, how does it manifest itself? Which organs are attached unto it? There are diseases that are caused as a result of hormonal imbalance, like blood sugar can be as a result of hormonal imbalance. The pituitary gland may be affected. And then the kidney may be affected. And also, you know, the liver is affected because there are high fats in the liver and the pancreas is affected. And then your blood is affected because of the high cholesterol. So it is looking at this nature of the disease holistically and you are able to come up with a formula that helps you to fight the disease. For example, with the blood sugar, which I, I, I really love working with, is I look at the pituitary gland. You look at which herbs help me to strengthen and cleanse the pituitary gland or the endocrine system. 
With the blood sugar, we have the pituitary gland and the adrenal gland, those two. I look at carrots or carrots, carrot tops. I look at ginseng. Or we, I look at a herb called dongwei, which is so important for the pituitary gland. The ginkgo biloba are very good for pituitary gland. The ashwagandha. You want something that is going to stabilize the endocrine system because the pituitary gland sends information to the pancreas to introduce, to e release insulin and the glucagon. So if that pathway is not, uh, is not done, uh, is not kept well, you are not going to receive a result. And then you look at the pancreas and the liver. What is there that can help the pancreas to work and be restored? You look at cedar seed. You look at the cypress seeds, you look at, uh, uh, you, you look at uh, the herb called dandelion, and also you look at plantain. And then I look at the blood vessels, the heart, uh, because the cholesterol levels are high that have blocked the insulin from being taken into the blood. The insulin receptors are, receptors are blocked. So I look at something that is going to to open the receptors. That is where I look at uh, so the sour foods. The sour foods have that effect of lowering the cholesterol levels. I can look at oxalis. I can look at uh, tamarind, lemons, oranges, pineapples, or grapefruit. And also, I look at now uh, the herbs that circulation like cayenne, uh, ginger, rosemary, parsley, celery, and I put them in my program or in, in my formula. And then now I look at the kidney because the kidney is going to help me to flush out the excess sugar. Diuretic herbs, where you have the plantain, you have the corn silk, you have the, uh, the, the pineapple rind, uh, you have the, uh, the, the rind of... Uh, the rind of or lemons, and then you have made a formula that is very, very thorough. And then after that, I'm looking at something that is going to stabilize the sugar levels, where you look at alfalfa, you look at uh, stevia, insulin plant, uh, titonia, I look at licorice root to normalize the blood sugars. The alfalfa also normalize the blood sugars. I look at stinging needle that strengthen the whole system now in the kidney. And I also look at the baddock that strengthen the liver and also normalize the general body uh, processes. And then I have a formula that is effective. In that also, I've just remembered you have the cinnamon, the cloves, and, and that is just complete. That, that is how we come up with a program or a formula that is cutting across all the treatments that we have. Now, this hub is help, help gently stimulate bile flow, aiding in improved digestion and alkalization. It's used for bedwetting and edema. If you have uh, legs that are uh, swelling, edema, you have to take corn silk. And, you have to walk, exercise. If you exercise by walking, not running like an athlete, it is walking and walking and walking. If you can walk eight miles a day, and then I tell you, <laughs> you will be having a good health. And drinking a lot of water. It is used for prostatitis, help remove inorganic minerals from the body, used for both gas, gallstones and kidney stones, and excellent for cystitis and use in hypertension and uh, COPD, that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. That many people are dying of today, the chronic pulmonary, uh, cr chronic, uh, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease affects many people today. That is when the, the, the right side of your lungs, the aortic side of your lungs is, uh, is inflamed, uh, it will even link with your lungs to affect the problem. And most of the times we get this chronic obstructive pulmonary disease when we breathe in the paint or uh, the fumes or the dust or uh, 
taking the, lo the, the perfumes that affect our system or when you are having asthma and you are in those inhalants, they will affect you and create chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Now, what we do is that this person, because he cannot actually walk for a long time, encourage him to be at least doing exercise of walking. At least, even if it is 100 meters, even if it is 50 meters the first day like that, and then do a fermentation on the chest and on the back, you want to do massage, use the circulatory herbs that we had mentioned before, and uh, make this person take the tea that is going to expand the heart. And that is cayenne, and that is hawthorn berries, that is cypress leaves, or cypress oil, essential oil, the turpentine oil, uh, the peppermint oil, the motherwort, uh, albizia, the tylosema, the white pine bark, all these put together, the baddock and uh, chaparral, artichoke, put together, you give the person is able to actually remove any fluid within the lungs or, or, or inflammation of the right part, right side of your heart. And being on a proper diet, make sure that you eliminate all the animal foods which destroy many people today, milk and eggs all poultry products, and then I tell you, your system will be able to adjust well. The colon has to be cleansed. The liver has to be cleansed. So it is just a broad spectrum of how we are understand disease and uh, the way we need to treat, treat them. God bless you.